in the world of Idea, a sense of doom and darkness sweeps across the land. Dark omens can be found in every corner, whisperings with agonies and promises of death and despair. Will you heed the call to save Idea? Do you have the favor of the gods in this day? And what will the runes tell you about your fate? Let's find out what we explore. Dark Omen. Hello and welcome to Board Stupid. My name's Wayne. And I'm Matt. And we've got a very, very special video for you today, all about this amazing project, The Dark, Dark Omen. Omen. Yeah, super exciting. We've been following this project for a couple of years. Yeah, it's been a number of years now. Yeah, going back to Spiel two years ago, where we saw uh, the gents with this amazing project, and we walked past it and went, oh my God, what is that? Had to find out more. And then one year later, we saw the game, uh, and an even more advanced state yeah now. yeah yeah very similar to what you're seeing now here on the board setup and uh, we've been so lucky that the guys decided to send us a preview copy for our first impression video that you're watching now absolutely so stay tuned to check out more about the dark, dark omen. omen dark omen is a cooperative adventure game for two to four players set in a grim dark nordic inspired fantasy world called Idea, with a board that twists and turns and messes with your expectations like the gnarled twisted roots of an old tree. The game is a campaign style game divided in four chapters. Each chapter is divided in different quests, in, in this case called omens, and at the end of each chapter you will have to fight a boss, an epic, epic boss. fight. Dark Omen is a unique and innovative take on an Ameri-style big adventure game full of dice chucking and monster smiting and adventuring and looting. You're also going to be using this amazing board and action points to explore different locations and find special places. Yeah, and on top of that, you can visit um, the towns where you can actually upgrade your gear or buy more gear. Or maybe if your life points are not that great, you can visit a healer to get to get back in shape or do some gambling. <laughs> hey, whatever works to get ready for your next adventure. Dark Omen gives you several highly unique and innovative mechanisms that fundamentally shape how each game plays, giving you a tremendous amount of variety and replayability every time you set up for a new adventure. And one of those mechanisms is the rune throw. At the start of each omen, you will throw some runes that will determine what the gods have to say about your adventure. These runes will give you some positive and some negative effects that will stick with you for the rest of the omen. Regardless of the result of what the gods have to say, you're going to fish out the cards from the various rune decks, strap up, set out into the worlds of Adea, ready for whatever obstacles you may face. Did you say obstacles? I did say obstacles. Now, like us, I'm sure you will have noticed that this board is unlike anything else you've ever, 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 ever seen ever trust in board us. gaming. <laughs> you've never seen anything like this before. And that's because it has four layers allowing you to actually rotate the board and dial in literally hundreds and hundreds of different map setups. And these map setups throw obstacles into your path. And of course, you will have some special abilities or some certain location will help you to change the positioning of the map so you can try to make your travel easier you can try you can try but saying that um is an absolute like unique um board um i'd never seen something like that and this was something that really attracted us absolutely it did, yeah. and absolutely endless potential completely endless and not only is it completely unique it looks incredible so matt should we dive into the production yeah let's talk to production 
So let's start saying that what we got here in front of us on the table is a prototype. Mm -hmm. So things could change in the future. However, for what we've seen and what we touch, this is already a top-notch production. It really is. And let's just start with a little bit of the art design oh. map, which is absolutely tremendous. It's full of this really brilliant, grim, dark fantasy that actually penetrates every single element of this game. And all done by their in-house art design team. So, so not AI, yeah? No AI has to be found here, <laughs> absolutely. And talking about a bit of the components, what really, really shine here is the player board, mm. uh, double tick layer, so you can keep all your tokens, there are a lot of tokens, um, and the uh, coins. And what I really love is the fact that each board oh, yeah. will have the card rail built in. That makes your life much easier <laughs> to keep all your cards in front of Brilliant. you. And there are a tons of cards with, again, mm. amazing, amazing artworks from the enemy cards to the weapon cards, the accessory cards, and the room cards. Yeah, they're all tremendous with great art design. You're also going to be getting minis to represent your player pieces, as well as minis for the epic boss Ooh. fights that you're going to be having as well. So, uh, yeah, just amazing stuff. And not to forget the runes for when you need the gods' favor. And we cannot finish production without talking about the board. Absolutely. This is absolutely fantastic. It looks great. It's divided in different areas and uh, you will have all your places you can explore. You have all your trackers here. And it's so fun to play with because when you start moving the dials around and creating new things, this is absolutely gonna blow you and your friends away. This is a masterpiece. So Matt, let's talk about the vibe of this game. It's really interesting because this is a game that throws at you this great, wonderfully realized, fully grim, dark world, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. No, it doesn't. And it's absolutely full of dark humor yeah. everywhere. And it's done in a such a great way. For example, um, some of the of the of the room that you're gonna throw, they're gonna give you something bad. For example, here I got diarrhea. That's you nice. should have not eaten that smelly fish, and that gives me <laughs> some negative effects. <laughs> you absolutely shouldn't have done that. Or, for example, you've got this bad idea rune card, which uh, tells you that you really shouldn't have smoked that toad. Yeah, probably should have that toad. And it, it's fantastic how all these little jokes, inside jokes, there's a yeah. lot of stuff that. Um, a reference to pop culture. Your Easter eggs in there as well, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Creates a vibe that is very unique. Um, again, you say dark green with a lot of dark humor in it. Yeah, and what we love about this is it gives you light and shade. So when you've got these really serious moments, they feel more serious Absolutely. because of the, the color of the game and the light of the game. Absolutely. Right? Uh, let me just tell you one thing. I'm not going to spoil anything. But the character creation that you're gonna do at the start of the game is something of the most funny things I ever done around the table. Pour yourself a whiskey, <laughs> grab, <laughs> grab a beer, and have some fun with your friends making characters in Dark Omen. All right, Wayne, yes. what is this game for? This game is for lovers of big American style adventure games. Yes. Going out, having fun, going on a big narrative adventure. Uh, but this isn't just like a dumb dice chucker. It's actually really thoughtful, a really clever design and some really smart stuff going on here as well. Yeah, the game really tells you a story mm. and brings you in the story really, really well. So yeah. with the narrative and all the mechanics and everything is so well thought and uh, we absolutely love it. It's not mega heavy, mm -hmm. it's not light at the same time, it's got a very fine balance between between these two things and I think it, it very much you can play with people that don't like adventure game as well so mm. it's and, and the, the the funny and, and fun aspect of the game really can bring everybody around and uh, enjoying this game. Dark Omen is on GameFound and is an absolutely tremendous achievement from what is Basically, oh God, an yeah, independent guys, they, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they've managed to do here is absolutely amazing. And if you want an exciting, engaging, 
completely innovative adventure, this could be everything you've ever asked for. Yeah, definitely it's one of my next favorite game I'll, I'll tell you now and uh, go in the description check the link to the game found um, page so you can find all the information about the campaign and maybe stick around look, check out our rest of the content where you can find the in-depth preview of Dark Coleman as well absolutely so and until next time adventurers stay bold stay brave and may the gods be ever in your favor or maybe not <laughs>